Welcome to ASQ TV where we're creating a global view of quality. Today we look at introducing quality concepts to those in your workplace who may not yet be familiar with them. In this episode we cover how a plant manager created a fun quality awareness day, the ways in which the absence of quality can create disaster, and a best-selling book that introduces Lean and 5S principles to mainstream audiences. You're probably aware of the enormous impact quality management and principles can have. But how do you introduce quality to colleagues who may know little or nothing about it? One resource for newbies is ASQ's Quality for Life website, which offers stories that demonstrate how quality professionals make an impact at work, home, and in the world. Quality professionals such as ASQ member Denise Durham. She was tasked with revamping a plant in Danville, Illinois, United States. And halfway through her first year, she realized a problem. It came to us based on some responses that we got from the shop floor that people didn't really understand the concept of quality. Um, they understood safety, like if somebody trips or falls. Um, that is very real to them, but uh, quality seemed to be more abstract as far as their concern. Sound familiar? So how did Durham engage the team for her Quality Awareness Day at the plant? What we decided to do, instead of having a multitude of classroom type scenarios, we decided to make it a fun event. And so what we did was uh, we made it carnival style. And so we had things like micro bingo, where there was micro con concepts, and but you play bingo in order to understand and get the right answer. We had uh, RFT roulette and right to first time roulette and people had to answer quality questions in order to win prizes. What fun activities to expose people to quality. Hear more from Durham at the link below. Maybe the best way to show what a difference quality can make in your workplace is to show your colleagues what occurs when quality wasn't good enough. That's exactly what ASQ member Sifo Jabadi did in a stunning video. Jabadi presents three well-known disasters and tells which quality principles weren't properly followed. The U.S. Space Shuttle Challenger's explosion just 73 seconds after takeoff, resulting in seven deaths and a financial loss of more than one billion U.S. dollars. Toyota's recall of vehicles due to unintended acceleration, causing 52 deaths, 38 injuries, and a financial loss of 5.5 billion U.S. dollars. The explosion of BP's Deepwater Horizon drilling rig, the largest environmental disaster in U.S. history, resulting in 11 deaths, a financial loss currently at 10 billion U.S. dollars, and immeasurable environmental damage. This video is a sobering and eye-opening look at the importance of quality. And because it outlines specifically which quality principles weren't followed in each case, it can provide a powerful introduction to those principles to both peers and upper management. Watch the full video on the ASQ Audit Division site at the link below. It's interesting to see when quality infiltrates the mainstream and people don't even realize it. Take one of today's hottest selling books, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. It doesn't take much to read between the lines and see quality concepts being introduced to this book's worldwide audience. We all know that both homes and offices can easily become cluttered, spilling over with unnecessary inventory and waste. These situations create extra stress, anxiety, and work for those who must clean, maintain, and maneuver around stockpiles of things. Japanese organizing expert Marie Kondo advocates a massive purge of items you may have collected over the years. Ultimately, a tidy environment will let you do more of what you want to do, not just cleaning and constantly putting things away. Sounds a bit like lean, right? Ask yourself why you're keeping a certain item. Focus on what you want to keep, not what you want to discard. Ultimately, the answers to the what and why boil down to, does this item spark joy? And if the answer is no, well, it's time to dispose or donate that item. Not unlike the five whys. Gather and organize items in your home by category instead of location. Take inventory of every item you own and make decisions on what to keep after you're done sorting the items. Then, determine an efficient way for storage and organization, similar to 5S, right? This author confirms just how well quality concepts can carry over from the professional 
to the personal side and how organizing methods can be a great investment in your own quality of life and peace at home. Well, thanks for joining us for ASQ TV. Don't forget to check out the new ASQ Standards channel and the International Team Excellence Award video series. You can find these special offerings by clicking on the Channels tab at ASQ TV's homepage. In our next episode, we'll look at teams and teamwork. We'll see you then.